Hey there, Gemini. Uh, welcome to your reading for the week of December 18th. Uh, this week, definitely check out astrojar.com for more awesome readers and astrologers. But let's see what we have going on for you at this time. Uh, a lot of justice, possibly a lot of changes coming in. And uh, let's see here. Uh, you show up twice here. I always say that the Joker represents the superpowers of Gemini. It represents being able to multitask, think about things in a different way, being able to do a lot, you know, just a very active mind type of energy here. And uh, also having multiple interests this week. That could be like anything. That could be, you could be interested in multiple people this week. You could be interested in like multiple jobs. So it might be, I would say with two cards like this, it might be a little bit difficult for you to make a decision. I would say that you don't need to make a decision right now. So uh, definitely uh, a good time to weigh your options. You even have the uh, Nine of Spades coming up here as well. And the Nine of Spades is definitely a card of weighing your options, thinking about things. It's kind of like the card of justice, represents Libra, and would be the card of like weighing things out, kind of doing that sort of thing. So you might be doing that. Uh, amazing card for fun as well. Great week for friends and uh, spending time with friends or having fun with friends uh, with these cards. So do that as well if you want. Next you have the Nine of Spades, like I said card of uh, justice and experiencing more justice in your life. I also think that this could be you looking at things that are holding you back in your life uh, at this time. This card is sometimes called the anchor and it can again just represent things that are you know anchor anchoring you down, things that are holding you back and looking at those things and trying to let them go. Uh, other than that, this can represent seasonal work, which again, with the holiday season here, uh, a lot of you could be maybe getting seasonal work offers and or you know things like that. It can also be consulting uh, type positions. And this card says it would be a good idea for you to take those positions because again, it could bring in just much needed cash. If you need cash, if you need more money, this card says, hey, go look for a seasonal job. You know, you might be able to get something. Maybe it doesn't last very long, but again, you know, the payout usually on these like holiday type positions can be very you know very profitable. So if you do need money I would definitely look at something like that with this card it says that you could get something that could kind of have a future benefit as well especially if you've been unemployed you never know you know maybe you do a really good job and you get hired or something like that so uh, that's what I would do with that card next in the seven of diamonds internal fears that don't exist about money as I always say and this is also a card of um, messages I would say you have two sevens here I just feel like saying be careful what you hear people say at this time this message has been coming up a lot I feel like this year um, mostly at the end of the year here I've been I feel like I've been delivering that message to a lot of people um, and I again I do feel like uh, people just in general like pretty much all signs should just be very careful as uh, like what they hear what people say what people tell them all this stuff comes up you know the five of hearts for example you you know Gemini get the five of hearts all the time um but um you know I, yeah I, I would just uh, be careful of it this card can represent you know loosely can represent misunderstanding so again try to uh, you know be very clear with your communications this week next you have the nine of hearts card of wishes and victory getting something you wish for or uh, receiving a victory over something that you have wanted so i really like to see that for you as well i would say the combination between the nine of spades and the nine of hearts could represent some sort of like long distance relationship type energy or, or thinking about a long distance relationship or could even be you like admiring somebody for from a long distance away so that's definitely something to think about it doesn't say that it's good or bad it just says that's what you could be doing you could be thinking about somebody from far away and those thoughts could be coming in it's also a great card for new relationships as well so if you are single or in a new relationship a very positive card finally again we have this uh, seven of spades Normally, I say this card represents internal fears that don't exist, but this card can also represent important letters coming in the mail, uh, important emails, and all of this other stuff. So definitely, um, you know, definitely check that. I would say, I also feel like saying don't jump to conclusions this week. Again, I feel like there could be like this, like, energy of you know hearing something or seeing something and like immediately panicking. So I think I don't know. It's kind of hard for me to explain, but I think if you have that immediate feeling of panic, stop whatever you're doing and then just kind of like make sure to go over whatever it is that you're worried about again because again you might have like this card to me says like you missed something or you didn't pick something up again like for some of you i feel like it's with bills or something like that like a bill comes in you panic but maybe but then i think if you like look at the bill again you know you'll see oh wait like i i don't actually owe that much maybe like ten dollars looks like a hundred you know um i'm sure you know we've all done that you know where we look at something and we we panic because of the first time we look at it it looks some, like something much worse um so don't do that this week um, either. But uh, I would say this week looked really good other than that. So thank you for watching and enjoy your week.